Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here. Welcome to 60 and Me. Thank you so much for being here this morning with me. I'm really grateful for your company and for your wonderful feedback that you give us all the time. And I want to welcome our new uh, women that join us. We've got people now in 150 countries all around the world. So people are joining us at all times of the day and coming from all different kinds of places. And I just love reading your comments and knowing that you're with me on this uh, this wonderful journey. Um, I've got a topic that I want to chat with you about today based on a lot of your feedback that you've given us. So I hope that you enjoy it, um, our conversation. But first, my tea. Um, I think I've mentioned this particular brand to you before. It's called um, Taka Turmeric Tea. It's a mother and daughter company, very small company. I have no affiliation with them. They just simply uh, make good tea. And this one is actually their hibiscus, um, and they do a vanilla one. But it's basically a turmeric drink. And this turmeric drink is really good for you. This particular one, cheers, <laughs> has uh, turmeric, and then it has um, black pepper, straw our anise, licorice, all kinds of interesting ingredients. So anyway, that's my turmeric to start the day. And um, perhaps you've got coffee or, or ju juice or something that you love to get you going to. But um, whatever you're drinking, relax and just put your feet up. We're going to chat about something that uh, maybe you're thinking about right now. Now, this is a topic that is on my mind often because I do love to travel. And we have a blogger named Slobodanka Graham who uh, writes articles about packing and um, planning for, for travel. And she's made it her life mission to travel only carry on. And she does some things that uh, for me are, are maybe a little bit over to the edge of um, too much organizing. I'm somewhere in the middle of the, um, the person that, you know, basically is throwing things in the day of the flight <laughs> as opposed to packing th five weeks in advance. But um, I'm somewhere in the middle. I actually do start to organize maybe even a month before I go somewhere. I have a little pile. I start now, I definitely want to take that and I put it in the pile. And then I, every now and again, leading up to the trip, will start then um, putting stuff in a suitcase. Now, I actually chose to talk about this article from um, Sobodanka because for mo the most part, she does exactly what I do. And in terms of the types of clothes she packs, the strategies that she uses. So I thought I, you know, I'd share with you because it's so much like what I do. Now, I have a small carry-on bag. It's it's a teal blue color. I went for with pink for so many years, and then everybody got into the pink suitcase um, routine. So I, I now carry turquoise, and um, it's a small enough to go as a carry-on. And then I have a backpack that I wear. It's a Tumi backpack. I've had it for, gosh, 30 years. And I, I use that for my laptop and, you know, it's those carry-on things that you really want to have by your side, even though... The other suitcases carry on too. I, I cover myself and then I have a very small little um, uh, purse for just my passport and wallet and credit card and, um, you know, really essentials, medicines and so on. So Sobodanka wrote this article and the first thing, of course, she asks is what's your style and it's, you know, is it throw stuff in at the last minute or is it more of a planning mode? And she says that whatever style you use, you have to plan. If you're going to do carry on, you have to plan. So she asks herself, you know, where am I going? You know, what's the weather going to be like? How long will I be there? You know, where will I be staying? And, you know, by asking a few of those simple questions and like imagining scenarios where you're going to be and where you're going to need clothes and accessories, then you can start packing sensibly. And she swears by carrying only seven grams, seven grams, kilograms, <laughs> be very light if it was grams, seven kilograms, which is around the limit for most airlines. And of course, she does mention that you should always check with your airline uh, for the size and the weight that they allow. So a lot of suitcases actually weigh quite a bit to start with. So that's an important um, strategy if you want to do carry on is to choose a lightweight uh, suitcase. Mine's pretty lightweight, but there's even light, lighter weight ones than I have. And I think there's a, a brand called It, which is kind of designed for the um, economy lines that really are strict about this. And there's lots of others. So I'm sure you've got your favorite. And I'd like to know, too, what your favorites are in terms of suitcases. So this is uh, the, the essential list that she goes through. She has an, um, an app, it's called, or it's a, a, a tool called Plain Pack. And this is where she bases all of her strategy around um, what to pack and um, how to save weight, 
on, as you're packing carry-on and, and space. So the, 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 clo the, the, the Essentials Clothes List has a few principles um, for Slobodanka. And the first is only wear two colors. Simplify. Two colors. Maybe three if you include, you know, white as, as to go with black. You know, ask yourself, what are your favorite colors? You know, it could be it could be black or gray or brown, like one basic color and then one other color to accent. That's that's her strategy. And the other thing is to take a few colored T-shirts that can differentiate your wardrobe. So if you you know, we'll talk about this later, but if you have black pants, then maybe take, you know, if you're if white's going to be your other color, that's great. Stick with that. But then add a couple of maybe T-shirts that are in a pink or teal blue or like me, I always choose um, a, a peachy color. And just to have something in the suitcase that's not black <laughs> or brown or navy. So uh, differentiate your outfit so that you can visualize how they're going to work together. And this is pretty straightforward um, by Slobodanka's strategy and mine. And make sure that everything, of course, matches. That the tops are the right length, that they're going to go with the pants that you choose. And, um, you know, just, of course, this is probably what we're going to describe as more of a summer, spring, autumn wardrobe, not so much a winter if you need to take a heavy coat. But don't forget, you can wear stuff on the plane that helps you to save um, space in your suitcase. And that's another little trick that Slobodanka mentions. In terms of shoes, my strategy, honestly, is one pair of shoes. If it's, if it's summer or spring, I'll take my, my uh, Medicus shoes, which are the ones that have a strap and they can be worn with a dress or with um, trousers. They're very versatile and they've got grippy bottoms so they can, they're can they good for walking on uh, slippery areas or in the rain. And also, uh, if it's winter or kind of cold, I will wear my boots, like an ankle boot, and pack the, the shoes. So no more than two pairs of shoes. I know people love shoes. <laughs> I remember um, uh, we, you know, a friend on a cruise. She had, a, I think, she had like twenty pairs of shoes in her suitcase. She had a separate suitcase for shoes, and that was great. Rachel was beautifully stylish, and her shoes looked great. But you know, for me, carry on one pair if I can get away with it. Two pairs at the maximum. Tops and bottoms. Okay, this is the, the clothing kind of advice from Slobodanka, and I think for me, I pretty much stuck by this almost to the letter. Okay, I take two pairs of black leggings and I try to find leggings that are not super tight, but ones that are more like a jersey pant. So ones that don't cling to your to your body because, you know, I, I, I'm conscious that you can't really wear leggings beautifully, <laughs> in my opinion, um, if they're too skinny and skin tight. So I, they're in between. They're like a jersey pant, two pairs. That is it. Now, Sabadanka takes shorts. I never wear shorts, but you could pack a pair of shorts in there too. That's on her list. And she also will wear one pair of jersey pants or leggings on the flight. So I end up really with three bottoms. Three, and I, and I sometimes take a skirt, but very rarely. Um, she takes one pair of um, an easy pull-on skirt in, an, in a neutral color. And I often take a sarong. If I'm traveling in a place that I can wrap a skirt around me, but I very rarely take a skirt with me. I tend to wear uh, leggings and pants. She says to take one T-shirt in a neutral color, a long sleeved. And regardless of the climate, I always take one um, usually black turtle, um, uh, long sleeve jersey uh, uh, top and three colorful tops. And this is exactly what I do. I take a white, a peach and some kind of a blue, teal, turquoisey color, just for fun, to wear with the black. And then I can alternate um, with, um, you know, a, a top. Now, with a, a shawl, I don't usually take a coat in my luggage. In fact, I don't, but I wear a jacket or a pashmina on the plane. And the same with uh, Sabadanka. She does exactly the same thing. She takes two bras. I do two, one neutral color, like a, um, a skin color, and one black. She takes five pair of knickers or underpants, as you call them in the States. I wear the same kind black. Um, they're like little box shorts, <laughs> by too much information, but they're, they're comfy. That's the most important thing. And um, she takes some socks. I take a pair of socks too. One pair. You don't need to take multiple pairs of everything. My my pants, panties, I wash just about, you know, every other night in the in a sink if I'm wherever I am. But five pairs takes me through a two-week uh, trip, no problem, or longer. 
Um, she takes an unstructured jacket and wears that on the plane, like I just mentioned. I often do that. And uh, she takes one um, crease-proof evening top. And I normally take uh, something lacy or a little bit... Um, you know, sparkly, that's super, you can roll it up very, very small for an evening, evening look. So in addition to the long sleeve top, the three colorful tops, I take one evening dress up uh, top as well. She takes one killer necklace, which I think is very, um, uh, what's the word, cautious. I take several. They don't weigh that much and I tuck them in corners of the suitcase because I love, I love necklaces. This one I'm wearing today is very, very simple and that, you, you, that can just make a statement. So um, that's, uh, she takes it anyway, one killer ne uh, necklace. Something that's going to add, like if you really want to just sparkle. And then a pair of earrings, a ring, if, but never anything too expensive, nothing that's of super high value or that I'd want to lose, a nightdress, and she takes a soft robe. I take a nightdress, that's it. Now that total weight, she says, is five kilograms, and I believe her because I've done this. And then in terms of the toiletries, well, I mean, I'm going over on time here, I apologize, but I think this is kind of cool to go through this. She takes all the things you'd expect, you know, the um, uh, small amounts of shampoo, eye cream, doesn't, don't forget dental floss. Um, she takes body lotion. I don't bother with that. I take hand, I do take hand lotion. Uh, she takes a compact uh, shampoo bar, which is really cool. I've actually, I bought one of those myself at, at um, Lush and you put it in a little tin and you can wear it. Uh, you can use it as soap, also as shampoo, and it doesn't have to count for your liquid um, allowance. A toothpaste, toothbrush and toothpaste, and she takes her electric because she loves it. I don't, but obviously a toothbrush uh, and then a little bit of makeup very very basic when I travel foundation eye eyeshadow blush mascara that's really the four things that I take in addition I take some facial oil it's my one standby thing that I take along uh, with me everywhere I go and I always tend to pick up some nice creams as as I travel but I do take my um my facial oil and, you know, the other things she takes in terms of just the, the classics, like your reading glasses, a spare pair of glasses, headphones, sunglasses, I said business cards. Um, I also take my little um, wristlets, my sprigs, <laughs> which I'll leave, an, I'll leave the uh, link for you on that because these have been a godsend to me. They come in all different colors. <laughs> As you can see, I have several of them. But they go, on, they go on your wrist and they've got like a little zipper. They're very, very cool. I, I've been using them for 30 years. Love them. And of course, your phone and your phone charger and, you know, anything that you're going to need as a comfort thing, like lip gloss for the plane, some water spray, if you like that, that can all go into your backpack or your extra bag. If you read her article, you'll and, and check out her website, Slobodankas goes into all of these things in a bit more detail, like down to the ounces that everything weighs. But it's worth if you're really serious about traveling light. I know it sounds like I've read a lot of items, but honestly, you can do this under seven kilograms. I've done it. You can do it. And um, that, you know, st obviously stick to the weight regulation, though. If you get a little eight or maybe nine, you can put a couple more things in there. But uh, call your airline just to ask them or go online. So I hope that's been useful. I'd love to know, are there any items that you always pack when you travel? T tell us about that in the comment section below. We might learn from, from you. And, and, and I guess the other thing is, do you try to go carry on or do you have trouble sticking to the airline's uh, weight restriction, restrictions? I really look forward to this conversation. I know we're a little longer than usual, but packing lists and getting ready for trips to me is like one of the most important conversations. So hope it's been useful. Check out Slobodanka's uh, website and also her um, article that I'll leave the link to. And um, happy travels wherever you're going. Leave your comments below and uh, we'll have a conversation. Thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Have a wonderful day and happy travels wherever you might be going in the world. And uh, we'll speak again soon. Bye-bye for now.